We're gonna buy a million dollar catamaran for him next. All right, this should be interesting. I think if people were sitting in the front, it would be fine. I don't feel safe in this boat. Lake Conroe is one of the most dangerous lakes to be on. Today we learned that our sweet little Walker Bay just won't make the cut. I'll do it. It's full of water. Jeez, Mama. We loaded her up and put her out in the water only to find she's too wobbly, too low on the water, and will need replacing. No, Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. No, no, no. <gasps> you almost slipped in the water, Rocky. He's trying to get in the boat. <laughs> Last time I actually... It, it's a nice day. Mm -hmm. This. So, uh, it's a nice day. It is a nice day. Tease. So you can't shake it around a bunch, you have to hold it steady. Once we had her outboard on, she just weighed too much. It's almost sinking. I don't feel safe in this boat. Okay, gross. I mean, I will say it's a little less stable. What are you gonna sit, tell mama? sit. Come on, you're heavy, mama. Heavy, mama. Heavy, mama. Oh, thanks. This is heavy. A little heavy, mama. Yeah, but look. So, mama should sit on the front because she's heavy. Yeah, but look. If you sit on the front, it will, the leg will go a little bit more down, and then that will be able to sit. Right? Well, in the very least, we can see if you can get in it and. If it's just too heavy, then we'll just get an inflatable from West Marine. I mean, the only thing is that that inflatable system costs just as much as... Oh, you're trolled out! I think if people were sitting in the front, it would be fine. All right, this should be interesting. I think the motor's a little too heavy for the dinghy, so we might end up at West Marine getting a, a dinghy today, but whatever. Try number two, we're gonna see if we can't get the outboard to run a little bit better in idle mode. He's fixing it, um, but apparently that dinghy is just a little too unstable for people in it. And a really, really heavy outboard motor. So it looks like we'll be buying a dinghy, like a real one. Not ready to join the big boys and splurge on a dinghy worth thousands, I visit a fellow TMCA member, Brandon Janacy from Kraken Sailing, in search of an affordable dinghy option. Take a look at the differences between the two. The biggest difference is how they're put together. Okay, it's like so, rubbery. <laughs> yeah, do, do you feel the difference? I mean, yeah. you can see it. Um, you can see it. It's very similar on the back. It has like a neoprene kind of uh, material on the back of all these things. Okay. Um, and it, it's, uh, it's a pretty significant difference in the product. So okay. you take a look at it, you can, you can see that there's, uh, if you look at the side, there's multiple layers in between all mm -hmm. the different things. There's about seven different layers on this. This is one piece of plastic. Oh, okay. There's a big difference. All right, so the other issue that you have with plastic boats is that when you put them together like this, right? Uh -huh. They overlap them, they put some glue down the side, and then like that, when this the boat's out in the sun, mm -hmm. what happens is this heats up and then the glue degrades and then this goes whoosh, like that and comes apart. Okay. Uh, whereas if you take Hypalon, the rubber together, and you put this together, mm -hmm. it's like rubber cement. It and does, it welds it shut basically. It doesn't come apart. Okay. He schools me in all things dinghy related 
and I make a fast friend in the process. I also score a pretty sweet PVC Zara Mini Air 9 for $300. We have a smaller version of this, and yeah, th to I, get this... I just, I just deflated it because I'm going to sell the tubes separate. The tubes are 1000 bucks. Yeah, so ridiculous. like they're 8000 But this is... A th this, I knew these were like 3000 yeah. New, you know, like... I know. Uh, they're crazy expensive, you know, and they're really hard to put it's on. It's crazy. That one's so much bigger than ours. Yeah, this is a... The but tank. it's beautiful. I mean, it's oh. still a good boat, and you could sail it, too. I'll go and pull it out, and I'll blow it all up and everything like that, and then you take a look at it, and okay. we'll go from there. This yeah. is our mini. It's cute. Yeah. Okay. This is so cute, and it, I like the colors, too, because you find those... The Inmars are just kind of... Yeah, everything's just kind of white and gray. Yeah, but and I like the little... The little yellow stripe is pretty nice. I when feel... It's a dinghy dock, you can find it, because it's like, oh, it's the one with the little yellow stripe on it. I feel a European now. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm going to give it to you for 300 bucks. No, I'll come get my catamaran from you eventually. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I mean, it's, it's all about, you know, embedding the catamaran. Yeah. Stuff, you know, like, yeah. Remember that guy that we bought the $300 dinghy from? We're going to buy a million dollar catamaran from him next. We're gonna buy a million dollar catamaran for a minute. Like a little half twist. Okay. And then they'll stay open. And then it'll just kind of push it down. It kind of pushes down and deflates. Okay. So uh, this is the push it down, twist it, it comes. Yeah, comes down. you know the the sides do the same thing. So you just take them and you just give them a little like a little a little quarter twist okay. and they'll lock out. This thing. Yeah. So you see the little the little button? Just push that in. Oh, I went the wrong way. There you go. That's why. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. It's so pretty. Yeah. And then see how it kind of just... And then this one is that's yeah, the... Yeah, that, that okay. one's the keel in the center. But once you get it down to about like this... Or, okay. Right? All right. And that's pretty easy to deal with. Okay. Right? And then that one there is the keel. Okay. Um, yeah. push, it, push it. Just push it. Why was I trying to turn it without pushing it? Go. Okay, wait. It's already, it's already yeah. left. There we go. So that kind of, oh, yeah. you know, it makes it pretty easy. So where so do you just it, inflate it through the one? What's that? You inflate it through each of them. Yeah. And evenly. Okay. Yeah, and then when you when you uh, blow it back up, then you want to um, take the rear tubes and blow them up first. Okay. So this one and that one in the back, and then the forward one is last. Okay. Um, and that keeps the baffles right, and that's it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty big. I think the capacity rating, if I'm not mistaken, is four people on this thing. Yeah, that's perfect. Which it, is pretty good. Yeah, four person. Yeah, it's even better than the one that we had, obviously. Pretty decent amount of uh, points. Here. And it's stiff, too. Is this high one or PVC? No, nah, this is PVC. Okay. Well, it still feels uh, well, it's well dirty as hell. So that's pretty good. Okay. So the seams won't come apart, which yeah. is Yeah. Nice. Um, you know, like I said, for 30 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> With all my nautical errands checked off for the week, I head down to Margaritaville in Lake Conroe to meet some friends. So we're here at the lake, Lake Conroe. We're gonna hang out and spend some time with my girlfriends. Give us a wave. I thought I had a kiss or For uh, Christy's bachelorette party. Is there a bride in the house? And I have to say for somebody who goes out on the ocean or the bay all the time. I am not used to seeing lake water or trees in the background. Like it's just a very pretty view as you can see. Um, but I'm here at the third Margaritaville. In 12 months. Um, <laughs> ridiculous I know, but actually, you know, the amenities aren't too bad here. They actually even have boats you can rent and go out on the water. I I think that I heard somewhere that Lake Conroe is one of the most dangerous lakes to be on um, in Texas or something like that. You're gonna have to look that up and then comment on that if you know the actual statistic. But yeah, it's supposed to be like really, really crowded and a lot of drinking and stuff like that, but I can see why. All right. Like it's a beautiful lake and if um, we had more time here, we would probably have rented a boat and gone out on it, so. Not crocodiles, alligators. Crocodilo. Crocodilo. Well, this is, is that a video? Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Kate. It's been a long time since you made it. <laughs> really, that camera is very high definition. Is it showing on It's an machines? iPhone. Whoa! <laughs> I know! 
Hey, bad boys. Oh, wow. We're in the middle of my video. We enjoy some beautiful weather, drinks, and pool time in our little cabana. that there's not a lot of video left, but there's a lot of battery left. Here comes a back from her. I don't know. Look at her. <gasps> what is she doing? She's got a turtle. <laughs> With her oh, Starbucks in hand. You got there, honey. What if it was by his family? It was. It's mom's heads up now. Let me see. They survive on their own. <gasps> Wait, the only one? this phone is for 1980. 